Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we joyfully give you with open hearts and open minds, seeking your will and your purpose for our daily lives. We are joyful because we know how much you love us, enough to send your only begotten Son to die on the cross for all of our sins. We are grateful because we know your holy word is powerful like fire and like a hammer, and that it breaks into our lives with energy and power. We are thankful as the word brings us understanding and wisdom, compassion and love. We humbly ask you to always encourage us to accept the complete forgiveness of all of our sins and to proclaim this good news to everyone through your Son, Jesus Christ, who has overcome the darkness and despair of this world. Amen. Tai 因为我们知道你的圣言如同烈火向所有的人宣告这个好消息因为耶稣基督的复活已经战胜了这个世界的黑暗和绝望阿们 Our greeting for this morning comes to us from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 24 Grace be with all who have a dying love for our Lord Jesus Christ 今天的问安经文选自以佛所书六章二十四节 this morning's sermon title is Like Fire, Like a Hammer. These are words in the Bible that describe the Word of God. Like fire, like a hammer, was proclaimed by the prophets, pronounced by the apostles, and presented by the Son of God, Jesus Christ Himself, whom we are privileged to know as our personal Lord and Savior. 今天早上的布道标题是
It separates us from our errors. It frees us from the chains of the bondage of our sin. It sets us apart for God's way. As we read the Bible, we learn from personal experience that the Word of God is like fire and a hammer. On more than one occasion, it has hit us head on and stopped us dead in our tracks. It has made us uncomfortable with the way we are, where we are going, and what we are going to do. In short, it is, Hebrews 4.12 says, the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. It confronts us, it challenges us, and it changes us, and it humbles us. It pierces our hearts and our minds, and is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Xiang 还是通过我们的个人体验，我们都会意识到，神的话语就烈火和大锤，神的话不止一次的直接的冲击我们，并从必死的轨道上拯救我们。神的话使我们对自己的行事为人，我们的生活目的，我们将来的结果都感到忧
When Jesus looked up and saw him, he said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. However, everyone who saw it began to grumble and say, He has gone to be with a guest of someone who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Zacchaeus experienced the power of the word of God. Like fire, like a hammer, the word of God smashed its way into his life and burned to all his misconceived perceptions, perceptions that life was only about him, that he could do whatever he wanted, that he was more important than anyone else. It broke up his selfish attitudes that were tainted by greed and by corruption. The word of God changed all that, and 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18 speaks clearly to what happened to Zacchaeus. It says, So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. Sin has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. In the Luke's Yesu 我今天我必住在你家里人子来为要寻找成就失丧的人主的话语打破了他被贪婪和腐败所玷污的自私自利的生活态度他借着基督使我们与他和好，又将劝人与他和和好的职分赐给我们。The word of God is God's greatest gift for us. It challenges us. It changes us. It helps us. It remakes us. It brings the good news of salvation into our lives. Second Timothy three sixteen through seventeen says. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. The word of God is God's gift to us. It takes us as we are and makes us into what we ought to be. It brings the good news of salvation into our lives, into our hearts, into our minds, transforming us, changing us, empowering us to be what we ought to be, what God has called us to be, what the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ enables us to be. 上帝的话语是上帝给我们最宝贵的礼物, 它挑战我们, 它改变我们, 
，他帮人，他重塑了我们，他将救恩的好消息带入我们的生活。提摩太后书三章十六到十七节说：“圣经都是经神所漠视的，与教训、督责、使人归正、教导人学义，都是有益的。”叫属神的人得以完全，预备行各样的善事。上帝的话语是上帝给我们的礼物，不管我们原来如何，神都接受，并使我们成为我们应该成为的人。神的话将救恩的好消息带入了我们的生活，带进我们的心思意念，改变我们，重新造就我们，给我们能力。使我们成为神要我们应该成为的样子，成为上帝所呼召的，基督以他的生命、死亡和复活所造就而成的我们。Like fire, like a hammer, there is another verse that speaks to this very important statement, and that's First Peter one seven, and states that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold. That though perishable is tested by fire, and may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. 像火，像锤。圣经中还有另一节经文说明了这个重要的陈述。彼得前书一章七节说：“叫你们的信心既被试验，就比那被火验仍然仍能坏的金子更显宝贵。”所以在耶稣基督显现的时候，得着称赞、荣耀、尊贵。Our faith has to be tested. It has to be challenged. It has to develop strength and fortitude. Our faith has to be tested. It has to face temptation. It has to create reliance on the Lord. As First Corinthians ten thirteen says, "No testing or temptation has overtaken you that is not common to everyone." God is faithful, and He will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, He will also provide the way out, so that you may be able to endure it. The temptation that Jesus endured when He was in the wilderness for forty days and nights reminds us of the importance of relying on the Word and on prayer. Our Lord did not face the testing of the devil alone; He faced it with the Word of God, with prayer, and with His power to strengthen and support Him in the midst. Of extreme difficulties, our faith must be tested, 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 神是信实的，必不叫你们受试探过于所能受的。在受试探的时候，总要给你们开一条出路，叫你们能忍受得住。耶稣曾经在旷野经历了四十昼夜的历练和试探，他的经历提醒我们依赖神的话语和祷告的重要性。我们的主没有独自面对魔鬼的试探，他用上帝的话语面对魔鬼，在极端困难中，用神的话添加力量，得到支持。Faith has to gain understanding, and so the word of God is there to train us, to teach us, to make us knowledgeable. The word of God gives us the ability to articulate what we believe and emboldens us to be confident. It helps us develop discernment and to know right from wrong. Faith 帮助我们获得理解。上帝的话是就是对我们的培训。圣经可以教导我们，使我们知识渊博。理解则是我们能够清晰的表达我们的信仰的各个方面，并鼓励我们，使我们更加自信。它有助于我们发展洞察力和知道是非。The word of God is a great divider. As we grow in grace, it separates us even from our former friends and associates if they are prone to be irresponsible and to have deviant behavior. First Peter four says, "Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourself also with the same intention, 
For whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin. So as to live for the rest of your earthly life no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing, and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme. 当我们在恩典中成长时从今以后就可以不从人的情欲就以为怪毁谤你们 The word of God is a great divider and it separates truth from fiction even within the church During the Reformation in 16th century Europe Martin Luther called the church back to the gospel which emphasized faith and grace rather than good works He faced tremendous opposition from the religious authorities However, he persisted He persisted because the word of God had hit him like a rock like fire. The verse that broke into his heart and mind and turned his world upside down was Romans 1, 17. The one who is righteous lives by faith. This verse originated in the minor prophet Habakkuk and is also quoted in Galatians 3.11 and in Hebrews 10.18. 上帝的话是一个伟大的分割器。他将真理与虚假分开。即使在教会内也是如此。在十六世纪欧洲的宗教改革期间突破了他内心的思想 Like fire, like a hammer, we have been called by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the word of God to share the good news of the gospel. If we don't, then we have conflict within ourselves. The word of God cannot be contained. It cannot be bottled up. It must break out. It must be proclaimed. Jeremiah wrote, If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more of his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. Let's be sure then that we share the word of God. Let's not hold it in. Let's not keep it to ourselves. Let's proclaim not only our, in our thoughts and words, but also in our actions. Amen. 向火向锤它不能被打包装瓶
，我们分享上帝的使命。我们不要隐忍不发，让我们不要把它仅仅留给自己。让我们不仅在我们的心灵和思想意念中和言语中，而且也要在我们的行动中宣认神的真道。阿门。